Hey, PlayStation fans, this is a massive, massive update for those of you that maybe have a PlayStation, but also have a PC like myself. And there's a lot of PlayStation exclusives coming to PC in 2024. And we're going to get into it right now. But first, before we do, hit the like, hit the subscribe, click the bell icon if you love gaming, want more of it on your homepage every day. I'm Blaze 2K. I really appreciate you being here. Come join me. Let's get into it and check the links down below for some of my favorite PlayStation 5 accessories. Um, and go check out pixelbuys.com, the best, the best website on the face of the earth. If you're a geek and you love gaming, tech, unboxings, cool gaming, geeky stuff you could buy, um, and with a little bit of sprinkling of healthy stuff mixed on the top, um, go put your email in, subscribe, get some cool emails. I won't spam you, I promise. It's a cool website. It's a labor of love, but it's a cool website. Anyways, a leaker, PlayStation leaker, has claimed PC ports for major PS5 exclusives are coming in 2024. According to a leak from Nixon's employee, 2024 could be a big year for PlayStation with PC ports lined up for some of the PS5's biggest games. I love the fact that PlayStation are porting games to PC. As you know, I'm a bit of a PC gamer myself. My favorite console right now isn't the PS5 or Xbox. It's actually the Steam Deck, and that's what I cover on the channel quite a bit. It's been a little bit of slow news as far as Steam Deck's, con Steam Deck's concerned this past couple of weeks, but hey, it's okay. I still love it. I still cover it. Um, so yeah, in the past few years, Sony has been entering new territories by porting some of the biggest first-party titles to PC. In 2023 alone, PC players got to experience the likes of Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, that runs pretty damn well on the Steam Deck. I can't believe that's on Steam Deck. Returnal and The Last of Us Part 1 with some of PlayStation's biggest titles. Not counting The Last of Us Part 1's mixed reception, the arrival of these ports has been stellar across the board due to the worker porting partner Nixus. Nixus or Nixus Software. Um, so yeah, a lot of these ports have been running perfectly, like, really well um the, the the effort that playstation and obviously the company they partnered with to port these has put in to port these to pc with the settings menus and the performance updates and even held the steam deck integration like they really went out their way to make sure a lot of these games work just great on the steam deck i'm really impressed and i love I love the fact that Sony exclusives are coming to play PC. Yes, maybe like a year later after they come out in PlayStation 5, but I just love it. You know, um, whether or not you're a console fanboy, you're PS5 or an Xbox person, you've got to appreciate the fact that us PC players, you know, can play PlayStation games now. It's awesome. Being a PC gamer, it's never been a good, it's never been a better time to be a PC gamer. Uh, it seems like Sony has no plans of stopping the PC port train with the leak indicating more PS heavy hitters could be launching on the PC in 2024. Demon Souls. Oh, yes. Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> and more maybe coming to PC. The leaking question from a Nexus employee who shared Sony's PC plans for 2024 and a 4chan post shared to Reddit. The employee claims The Last of Us Part 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Demon Souls, and my favorite, my favorite, Gran Turismo 7 will hit PC this, sometime this year. I'm so excited. They claim that Demon Souls and Ghost of Tsushima are taking longer to port due to the lack of experience both developers have with making PC ports. Along with that, they shared that Spider-Man 2 will hit PC in 2025, so we, us PC players will have to wait till next year to get uh, Spider-Man 2, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind waiting. Um, and that Sony has plans of porting early PlayStation titles like Infamous Second Son to PC. So they're actually planning on bringing back a lot of older PS5 or PlayStation exclusives as well, which is awesome news here is the reddit post as with leaks it's imperative to take them with a grain of salt given these are big first party names it seems extra salt may be needed although this post might solely be reiterating the massive nvidia leak from 2021 most of these leaked titles ended up coming to pc while the comments were skeptical of the leaker most comments jokingly agreed that this could be real because bloodborne was nowhere to be found on the list demon souls coming before bloodborne is the only thing believable about this one player replied another simply said i know this is real because he didn't mention bloodborne that said with last of Us Part 2 remaster out in a while, it's not hard to see PC port that, is far, that, um, that far off from being released. For some time being, PC players have Hell Divers 2 and Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition to look forward to this year. Nice, cool. Um, so there we go. Here's the Reddit post, and let's just double check some of the top comments here and see what people have said. Um, yeah, so Nexus, 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 employee here. I know some Sony games coming to PC later this year. Last of Us Part 2, God of War, Ragnarok, Demon Souls, Ghost of Tsushima, and Gran Turismo 7. Having Gran Turismo 7 is going to be a bigger deal than a lot of these other ones, in my opinion, because they've never brought a Gran Turismo game to anything other than PlayStation. It is like the hallmark. It is the foundation of PlayStation, is Gran Turismo. I've been playing, playing it since PlayStation 1 days. I cannot believe I'm going to be able to play this. And I hope, I hope to 
every the Sony God the God Gods the Sony Gods that Gran Turismo Seven runs really well on the Steam Deck because playing Gran Turismo Seven, my favorite racing game of all time on the on the Steam Deck with cross platform multiplayer, will be a dream come true. It really will, and um, these will just be icing on the cake. Um, God of War Ragnarok. Um, I've not played that yet. I've been literally waiting for a PC port of that. I never bought it on PS5. Last of Us Part 2, not played that yet. I mean, I've, I think I maybe started it, but never finished it. Demon Souls, I want to try that. Ghost of Tsushima, I want to play that on PC. Gran Turismo 7, I'm obviously waiting for Spider-Man 2 to come out on PC. I didn't buy that on PS5 when it got released. I'm holding out for PC ports. Um, but yeah, all slated for this year. DS, um, Demon Souls, and Gears of War taking... Um, oh, sorry. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, it's taken so long because it's the devs' first time making PC ports. Spider-Man 2 will come in early 2025. Thank God it's early 2025. Sony's also discussing porting earlier games, e.g., for example, in Famous Second Son to PC as well. Someone says, yeah, I know this is real because he didn't mention Bloodborne. Um, no Bloodborne must be real, of course it is. At this point, they're not even purposely delaying PC ports. That's just how long it takes for Nexus to make a proper port. You posted this basically at the same time as the 4chan thread was created. I won't fall for it, but nice try, OP. Demon Souls coming before Bloodborne is the only thing believable about this. Um, while I don't believe the person who made this 4chan post is a Nexus employee, I really hope that Ghost of Tsushima port releases this year, prefer preferably before fall. I need it. Um, and of course, I love to see Sony porting their early PS4 stuff too, but... I think chances of that happening are too low. Here's hoping and prove wrong. This seems a little too good to be true. Um, let's hope not. Let's hope it's true. Seeing as Gravity Rush movie is apparently actually happening, I'm cautiously, cautiously optimistic that that would give them a reason to put those games on PC. Gravity Rush of the PS Vita was the bomb. Me and my wife used to play that. Would also be neat if they port the rest of the Uncharted series. Always seemed weird that they start with Uncharted 4 because, like, who's going to want to start? at the end that's so true kill zone games please sony that would be kind of cool to have kill zone on the pc that might create a resurgence in the kill zone franchise might bring it back alive again who knows um look at nixus and boys the person implying nixus is directly involved with these ports the gears of war port didn't even involve them they are mostly known for helping with the spider-man games anyways guys anyways let me know what you think in the comments is this leak real I am super hyped if it is. Let me know down below. Hit the like on this video. Hit the subscribe, click the bell icon. And consider, consider supporting everything I do on YouTube by clicking the join down below. We stream every day at 4 a.m. Central. And we usually play a replay or sometimes a stream live at 2 p.m. So we stream twice a day. Once live in the morning at 4 a.m. Central. Then again at 2 p.m. In the afternoon central um sometimes i start off live and then play the replay and sometimes i just play the replay if i'm busy if i can't make it so yeah come join us on stream come join the play squad and go check out pixelbuys.com okay check out pixel buys you'll like it i promise anyways take care i love you have a great monday have it have a great week i love you and i'll be thinking of you peace out bye let's go and check the links down below for some great Sony PS5 accessories, if you have a PS5 ever.